woman begs husband on her knees for a second chance, but he does this instead. A Chinese woman kneeled in front of her ex-husband's office begging for him to take her back. The two were divorced and she wanted a second chance at marriage. The unidentified woman from the Shandong province waited in the sun for six hours. She held up a sign saying that she was wrong and wanted to get remarried so that their child can have a complete family. Aww. Damn, wow. Talk about commitment, dedication, wanting a second chance. But the question is, what happened? What actually happened to make her have to do this? To embarrass herself like this? Good. This is just an epic level of embarrassment for her. Good. And good for the man. I mean, what did she do? Or what did he do initially to make her divorce him, which we still don't fully know, and then now to come running back? Gotcha. Yeah, strong, independent woman? Really? Really? <laughs> I don't need a man. From the star.com. Hubby, I'm wrong. Repentant Chinese woman begs ex to take her back with placard messages outside his home. Divides online opinion. Yeah, I think you know what my opinion is. Yeah, beg for me, woman. To this day! A woman in China has gone viral on mainland social media for begging her ex husband to remarry her while holding a placard in front of his home for hours. Like, how rude, woman. She's crazy. The unidentified woman from Shandong province in eastern China waited for her ex for more than six hours last Thursday to ask him for another chance. According to Star Video, the reason for their divorce was not clear. But the woman felt regret. Oh, did she? No one cares. Did she? What, the grass wasn't greener? Nope. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't. In a viral clip filmed by a passerby, surnamed Zhu, the woman is shown standing in a car park and holding a small placard above her head. While her lower body supports a large placard, she later knelt on the ground. Damn, she turned up the begging. She went begging Max. Love me. Damn. On the large sign, she wrote, All I want is to remarry and give our child an intact family. I will be here to wait for you to come downstairs to see me. Oh, oh that's actually nice. You know, jokes aside, to repair a broken family, that's actually nice. Okay. Zhu said he stumbled upon the woman when passing by in the afternoon. Despite the blazing sun, the woman insisted on staying in the car park, <laughs> baking on the tarmac. Woo! Bake for me, yeah? That's sexy. Bake for me. Yeah. I'm gonna ignore you, but yeah, bake for me. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's just me. That's just all right. Let me just, all right. Let me stop. Yeah. The woman repeatedly called her ex-husband's name to attract his attention while raising the small sign. She then began kneeling and shouting to beg him to come down to the car park. She repeated the motions again and again without any response from her ex-husband. <laughs> Ah, oh, he's, oh, he's on some real man sprinkle sprinkle, isn't he? No matter what she did, her ex-husband didn't show up. <laughs> you told you told Star Video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Zhu stayed at the scene for a while in an attempt to find out more about the situation. After asking a resident of the building, Zhu learned the woman had been waiting under the sun for more than six hours. Dedicated. The woman regrets their divorce and she wants to remarry her ex-husband, the resident told you. Now my point is what happened? What did she do? What did he do? What happened between them for them to divorce but for her to be the one coming back? For her to be the one begging for forgiveness? For her to be repentant? I mean for her to be so repentant it would mean you know she's guilty of something wouldn't it? She's done something hasn't she? Yeah? Yeah. Get on your knees, woman, beg for me. She was probably on her knees in the first place. I think I was like... <laughs> for some other man. That's probably why he had to divorce her. Yeah, woman, you've got an entire husband here, yet you're off some other guy. Now, that's not that's speculation. That's... It may not have happened, but if it did happen, I mean, that's probably why. Or they probably could not, you know, get past a certain dispute or a certain issue they had together where they had to separate. Could be very simple. However, however, the point is we're here, aren't we? Or she was there six plus hours under the baking China sun begging for forgiveness. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Part of the reason it's funny is because we do live in a world of strong, modern, independent women who celebrate divorcing men and living these amazing, amazing lives, these futuristic lives. But it's like, this woman's more like this. <laughs> Screaming into the void outside of his building, obviously, and he's not responding. But she's more like this. <laughs> yeah? Can't hear you. Or he probably can, but he doesn't care. 
nonchalant modern man. Yeah, scream woman. Yeah, scream whatever this thing is. Is it, is it, is it a gopher? No, it's a beaver. I think it's a beaver. I thought it was a wombat or a gopher. What? I don't know. It's a beaver. It's a beaver. I think it's a beaver. If it's not, correct me, but pretend that I knew about it. Yeah, just pretend that I knew. President of the building said that she called out to her husband for hours under the blazing sun. She said that she'll be waiting for him downstairs, but her husband never replied nor came down to meet her. Many sympathized with her effort, but thought that she was going about it the wrong way. To quote Kanye West, she waited a few months, then she saw she never found nobody better than him. So she came back. Nah. I don't need a man. And never take her back. Have a nice day.